You don't have to spend a fortune to get younger looking skin. Dr. Harold Lancer, the dermatologist to the stars, is here to share his do-it-yourself secrets. Welcome, Dr. Lancer. Thank Everyone you, wants to know what's the secret to looking younger. You have a new book. Absolutely. The new book, Younger, it's been sort of like a child to me. It's like having a 14-month pregnancy. I'm a new mother. <laughs> so I, yeah, I, I just gave birth to this book. It's about three days old. So Younger is my uh, odyssey and legacy to skincare, and it covers a variety of things having to do with answering the question, how does everybody find their internal fountain of youth? And that's what the book's really about, self-help at home. How long did it take you to write this book? You told me you've been practicing medicine for more than 30 years. Yeah, um, let me say I began my training in 1971 and private practice for over 30 years here in Los Angeles. And I see only patients. I don't uh, leave the office for the most part, except <laughs> for the pleasure of being here with you. And so I thought it was time to sort of put all the tips for home skin care for people whom I can't see mm -hmm. in a book for home use and uh, just up for Valentine's Day. Better than perfect. chocolate. It's a perfect gift for anyone <laughs> you might love. And it's 225 pages, and what is it jam-packed with? It's uh, basically about skin care, the huh. Lancer Skin Method. It's about exercise and nutrition, because diet has a tremendous influence on the way skin looks. So there's skin care, exercise, there's a concept of improving self-image, and then there's the issue of, really, what should you eat and what you, should you not eat? Okay. And there are some uh, home tips, things that, you know, there's some people who want uh, to just use things in their kitchen, in their cabinet, to try to keep their skin looking good and we have a few of them here yeah, but it's all it, in the book. I see it on the table. I, yeah. there, this looks like everything that we use to cook. So right. talk about this first uh, remedy. What does this do? Well for example sometimes patients will come to me and they say Dr. Lancer we understand you're the world's authority on lasers but my problem has to do with hair. Oh, okay. So uh, here is a little bit of almond oil that's mixed uh, with a little bit of sugar and uh, sometimes just olive oil al alone sometimes with sugar and it can be used to improve the ends of the hair and um, it's sort of a texturizer. So for those broken split ends, it's sugar and oil or just oil alone, almond oil. Oh, okay. And why, why sugar? Well, sometimes it'll help bring in more moisture into the hair. So sugar, that's why sugar in the diet is not good, but okay. sugar on the hair is good. Okay. So and don't then we, eat the sugar, but put it on your hair. <laughs> yeah. Most of the things here, don't eat them. Okay. Well, the almond oil is okay and the olive oil is okay. A little bit of the coffee, maybe. <laughs> but for the most part, uh, just keep it on your hair. And then the um, apple cider has to do with sort of cleaning it after the hair has been sufficiently saturated. So it's a little bit of a home care for hair care. So the vinegar is not going to ruin the hair because it's so acidic? No, uh, no, it'll actually clean some of the oh, shafts so that okay. it doesn't have a debris so it doesn't pick up dust and lint. Interesting. Okay. So it's a little tip for home care for hair, which is a big item. Yeah, very nice. What yeah. about this uh, pure cane sugar and coconut oil? Coconut oil is a big thing right now. Yeah, coconut oil is a big thing. Again, do not eat the coconut oil. <laughs> uh, it's full of saturated fats, all its calories are from saturated fat. So I, I say just uh, keep it on your skin and when you mix the oil okay. with the sugar cane, rough skin on the arms and legs, call it, called keratosis. If you look at it, mm -hmm. and if you feel it, it sort of looks slimy now. I was trying to smell it to it, see if it, it smells like it, anything. It's actually <laughs> a very, very nice exfoliant. Oh, Try yeah, a little bit yeah, of it. kind see? of like, almost like the sugar scrub. That's right, it's like a oh, sugar homemade scrub. homemade sugar scrub. And it's so inexpensive, so for the arms and legs, okay. it is a home run. Okay, and then this also good for the bumps on the arms? That's right, the bumps, talking about that? yeah, the bumps on the arms, called keratosis pilaris, is one of those inherited things. It's common, and the medication treatment for is extremely expensive. So this is a simple, inexpensive home remedy. And it's a good way to use that coconut oil that you're not going to eat. Very good. And then what about this? Everybody has coffee at home. Yes, most people have coffee. Again, in the book, in Younger, coffee for the dietary reasons is not such a good thing because coffee oil interferes with digestion. Okay. But surface-wise, if you take a look at the uh, grapeseed oil with the coffee grounds uh -huh. here, and uh, if, you, if you look at it and feel it, it's a very, very soft, Oh, exfoliating yeah. agent and we Almost find we find it's terrific for a facial scrub oh, okay. and for helping cellulite. Now oh. most women past puberty have cellulite. So this is a common, simple thing to treat and make it much smoother. It's just terrific. And it, is it because it has caffeine inside? It has caffeine. You're so smart. It has caffeine inside and the oil is sort of a lubricant. And, and the interesting thing, cellulite is not a problem in the fat. It's a problem in skin. Oh, so it's okay. sort of, it sort of has to do with 
pampering the skin. Thank you so much, Dr. Lancer. I could talk to you for days, but we don't have enough time right now. For more information about Dr. Harold Lancer's do-it-yourself treatments, just go to our website, kcat9.com, and click Scene on TV.